Roush Games! Hello, 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 guys, and welcome back to Roush Games here on YouTube. This is strange for you, I know, it's strange for me too, but this is not a WWE licensed game, and this is not Minecraft or Starbound. This is FIFA 14, what the hell am I doing? Well, I mentioned it in a couple of my uh, Defeat the Streak videos that I've gotten tired of getting my ass kicked by The Undertaker on a pretty consistent basis, and that I would be coming into uh, FIFA video game making, because from those of you that have just seen, you know, the meat and potatoes of my channel over the past six plus months that I've been doing this thing, you've seen that I like wrestling and I like open world sandbox creation type games, and you haven't seen a whole lot else, but if you've really read between the lines and listened to some of my commentary and watched a few of my, like, more face cam vloggy videos, then you know that my whole life I've been a huge sports fan, and I'm, I mean, sports of all kinds. I had hockey, lacrosse, football of the American variety, baseball, soccer, <laughs> almost did it there. No, I actually, uh, I don't like to call it the S word, soccer. I don't, I, I, I do think it's a dumb name for a sport. If I'm having conversations with my friends over here in America, I will call it soccer just for confusion's sake because American football is my favorite professionally played sport. Uh, it's just comes with the territory of growing up over here, guys. But throughout this series, and it will be a series, I am going to refer to it as footy. I don't want to call it football. I'm going to call it footy. And just to enforce that, because I know I'm American and the word soccer may occasionally slither out of my mouth hole like an unwanted party ruining snake of destruction, I am willing to, to wager that I'm, I'm not going to use the word soccer all that much. So, <clears throat> woo! <laughs> Throughout the duration, from, from this point on in this series, the end of this sentence, any time that I say the word soccer, I will donate. One dollar per use of the word to a charitable source of my choosing at the end of each season played in this FIFA series. For the record, this is going to be a manager career. I'm on the screen here. I'm not going to do a player. I'm going to do a manager. I am going to be managing my local squad, my club, to greatness, and I'm going to put them on the world map. But for this charity thing, I am calling on you guys to help me out with it because uh, I'm, I'm not going to admit whether or not I'm saying the word soccer from this point on. Um... But from, from the time that I select to go into my manager career here, any time that I utter the word soccer in a video, I need every single one of you to catalog it. Tweet it at me, comment on the video, Reddit, email, however you can get that to me. Give me a list and hold me accountable for it so that at the end of one season here, I can make that donation. Uh, unfortunately, it's only going to be $1 because I don't have that much money right now. <laughs> but who knows, if the channel gets bigger, maybe we can make it a real thing and maybe I start saying the, the vile word on purpose. But I will call this footy as much as humanly possible. So, with that out of the way, we're going to head into it. We're going to start off a manager career. My team, my squad, the Philadelphia Union of Major League Soccer. They are awful. <laughs> but they play really well within the MLS. And I know a lot of you are going to be shaking your head already. Oh, Major League Soccer, Americans, boring. Uh, you know, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> it's what I have here and... They're a lot of fun to watch locally. Their stadium is right on the Delaware River down in uh, scenic Chester, which is not a city anybody should ever visit for purposes other than going to watch a game of footy. Um, we've had such world-bending talents on our roster in the past as Freddie Adu and Sebastian Latou. Twice. It's about it. But <laughs> they are a lot of fun to watch, and it is really nice to have a home footy club. Like, I've, for years now kind of salivated over the Premier League and how much I wish I lived over in the UK to be able to just, you know, actually get into real games there. Have, like, Ben from Next Level Games 360, his home team is Sunderland. Like, you know, I, from way across the pond, am a Man City fan, and I'm probably going to get pelted with trash and rotten tomatoes for saying that. But <laughs> it's nice to have these guys right around the corner from me, and I do watch them. Pretty ravenously. So that is it. We are going to be playing as the Philadelphia Union in the MLS. Uh, you see our starting 11 up there. Uh, Zach McMath, our goalie, our keeper, is one of my favorites in the MLS right now. He's young. We took him in the first round of the 2011 uh, Super Draft, and he's really, really good. He's super consistent. He's been playing, I think he started like 60-some straight matches for us. He's, he's very, very good. And there's Sebastian Latou. 
going to be one of our strikers down there. Jack McInerney on the other side, another young guy. He's got a really nice boot. He's He was up there in the, the league lead for goals this past season. So very happy about that. Um, I can tell you off the bat, I'm going to have to work on our defense, our, our backs. They're, they're, they are going to be what I'm looking for in the transfer budget right off the bat. I like our strikers where they are. I'll probably do some work to upgrade the middies. Um, and yeah, from there... We'll just have to see what happens. But we're going to go through here with the Philadelphia Union. Guys, I'm going to put it up to semi-pro. I'm still very new to the FIFA franchise. I haven't played a game since FIFA 2010. Um, and I've been messing around with this in my spare time, but I'm really not all that good. Especially playing with like a 60-something overall squad. We're probably going to lose a lot. I just hope you're ready for that. I'm going to make it as exciting as possible with my wonderful commentary. But uh, everything else, we're going to leave... Pretty much as is, because I'm still I'm still learning. The currency is indeed going to be dollars. Deal with it. Our stadium, I don't. They don't have the. Um, God, I don't even remember the name of the stadium right now. I'm having such a, a brain fart. <laughs> they don't have the union's own pitch, so I'm just gonna go with Stadio Classico. It's we have like a riverfront stadium, but it's a tiny one too. It's an MLS stadium. It's not huge. Like that's even that that looks kind of right. But, I don't know. That one looks a little too big. That's way too big. PPL Park. There we go. I don't know why I couldn't remember the name of it. But they don't have that in this game. I've looked around for it. That actually looks okay. None of them are going to have the river. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do Stade Cocoto. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> We're going to change the name. We're going to call it PPL Park. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Let's name that real quick. Whoops. Not PPP, PPL. There we go. No. I I hate that I'm coming over here from um, WWE games. The typing system is completely different. <laughs> I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. All right, PPL Park. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Head back now. Apply and exit, please. And everything else, yes. We are just going to start off as is. Right. Wait a minute. Oh, I had to push it again. Advance. There we go. Squads have been reset to defaults. Great. All right. Now we have to create our manager. I think you guys know who I'm going to be. <laughs> First name, Roush. Last name, Games. Manager, Games. Oh, let's hit that up. G-A-M-E-S. Okay, his nationality is indeed American. I think we're under U for United States in this. I forget. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Shirt and tie, track suit, suit. Let's go suit. I'm dapper. Suit color, navy gray, navy gray, navy gray. Let's go gray. Skin tones, fair, slim body type, advance. All right, guys, here we are. We are at the start of our first season as manager of the Philadelphia Union of the MLS. Uh, don't think that I didn't know I said that S word back there a few times. I want you to go back and find it for me. I'm testing you, getting the donations started the correct way. So here's our home screen. I'm pretty sure most of you have played FIFA before. If not, You've got it separated as your central home screen where you have your, your brief calendar here where you click the A button and it advances until your next event. Your global transfer network screen is here. I haven't assigned any scouts yet, but we will do that in just a second. Our news is over here. Um, I guess it's Philadelphia-centric with a bit of world looking to, yeah, games looking for an opportunity on the international. Let's click on it. Let's check out the news. So that's... Uh, Roush Games looking for an opportunity on the internet. After putting pen to paper to take the reins of Philadelphia, Mr. Games. Games was asked by local media whether he'd be interested in managing a national team. I would love to manage a national team. Yay! We'll see what happens there. Um, new season. We've got our friendlies coming up. One for the future. Really? It's thought to be a player with a bright future. The stopper hails from Italy and amongst his peers is considered to be a talent. The rise all the way to the top, standing at 185 centimeters. The right-footed 16-year-old custodian is hoping to make a name for himself at Udinese first and foremost. I'm not considering the long term. Okay. We'll keep an eye on him. Simone Scafé. Remember that. And... 
There we go, Philadelphia versus Sporting KC, who just won the MLS Cup in real life. That's uh, it's going to open our, our regular season. So that, that's the news. We can go back and look through that. I'm probably not going to do that too much. Uh, there's our more news. That's the world news, apparently, that I can change with the right stick. And the tables, the standings right now, everybody is 0-0 zero, zero because nobody's played a game yet. Uh, we can check all the stats there as things move along. And then up top here, squad. Here's where I go to team management, um, which I am going to be looking into in just a second. We've got our starting lineup there. Squad report, uh, squad ranking, blah, blah, blah. Formations. I'm going to have to learn on the fly with that. I really, really, really am new to uh, messing around with footy positioning and things like that. I can change people's numbers. National squad selection. If I manage one, I can pick the players for it. Yay. Uh, up here, this is our transfers. I haven't had anything on the transfer network yet, so we won't go there yet at all. And then in the office, this is where my inbox is. I can manage contracts of players on my squad. I can find new talent for my youth squad. Um, can't make it academy yet. Uh, look at jobs in case the Philadelphia Union sack me. I can request more funds. And I can just get a brief overview of my career and my objectives up here in the inbox. We start off with the requisite emails. The Union Board, uh, they reviewed our chances in the Domestic Cup, which here is the MLS Cup. We love a cup run, so my goal right off the bat is to reach the quarterfinal of the MLS playoffs. That's going to be a big task with the team I have right now. Uh, my scout, Rafael Khan, is introducing himself to me. And let's go check him out, actually, the Transfer Network scouts. I've got two. I've got Will Okugo and I've got Rafael Khan. Uh, sorry, my computer just went to sleep. I don't like it when it does that while I'm recording. <clears throat> yeah, I've got both of them. They both only have one star under judgment. So the goal off the bat as we accrue more funds for the Philadelphia Union is going to be to hire scouts with better judgment to get us better players through transfer. The goal of this series is to make the Philadelphia Union a world power. They are going to be the top of the MLS. Um... So right off the bat, I do want to send these guys out before we do anything else. And Rafael Khan is American. He's got two stars of experience, only one of judgment. I want to keep him in his pipeline, so I am going to just scout the United States for right now. And I want him looking for... Yeah, yeah, we're going to the U.S. Yes, I am sure. And he's on his way there. When he gets there, I will tell him exactly what to look for. Um... Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then Will Okugo is also American, but despite that, I'm going to send him to Mexico. We're going to stay in North America. I want to get some young talent from Mexico up across the border here. I am looking straight up for uh, defensive help. That's going to be first and foremost. So, we're going to back out of the scouts for now. Currently not... Yes, yes, please take me to the instruction screen. Thank you very much. Um, add new instruction, position. Yeah, let's go fullback. Okay, age. We're going to keep 16, and I want to stay young, so I'm going to go 24 at the oldest. Contract I don't care about. Attributes. Defensive-minded. That would be wonderful. Yeah, yeah, we'll go that right now. Oh, hit the wrong button. Keep changes, please. Okay, and <clears throat> let's do the same for uh, center back. And guys, if you see anything that I'm doing wrong in this series, if you're a much more experienced FIFA player with the way it is in modern days, as I haven't played in about five years, let me know in the comments, please. I'm going to be teaching myself on the fly a lot. I just really want to play this game to its fullest. So we've got our defenders. I like our keepers right now. Um, the next, I'll just go mid. Left, right, wing. Yeah, central mid. Just keep it nice and basic. And again, max it out at 24. We want a youth movement here in Philly. And in the mid, God, I would love to just be able to, to have passes. Yeah, yeah, let's go playmaker. Let's just, let's do that. Let's see how that works out for us. 
keep those changes. That is a good amount of instructions for our scouts right off the bat. That's where I want to start. Um, all right, so we've read that. Okay, uh, glad to see you've set up some instructions for the scouts. With that done, you can now send them off to some countries that you would like them to look for talent in. I've already done that. Great. Who else? Assistant manager introducing the global transfer network. Welcome aboard. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, they're telling us about our scouts. We have an injury off the bat. An update on the health of Jeff Park. He's one of our defenders. The broken tailbone that he suffered at the end of last season is repairing nicely. There's a chance he might be ready for the first competitive match of the season, but he probably won't be 100% match fit by then. So tread carefully with regard for bringing him back too soon. We're going to have to look into that. And it's a good thing we're looking for defensive help in the uh, transfer market already. And our league objective, aside from reaching the quarterfinals, the, we will most likely judge you on your success in the league and have decided that your season objective for the league campaign will be to reach the playoff semifinal. If this objective can also be met via a cup competition, then succeeding through that medium but failing your league objective may not be enough to satisfy our criteria. They are jerks, 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 jerks. Uh, yes. Yes. Delete. Keep the inbox empty, please. All right, good. So there we go. We're out of the inbox. Jesus, that took a while. And then the last tab over here is the season. Calendar, stats, stats, tables, redundant things. So over here on Central, well, first, we're going to go to squad. We're going to breeze through this real quick, guys. I want to set up my starters. Yes, please. So with Jeff Park still hurt with a broken tailbone, I don't want to rush him back. I am indeed going to sit him. There's our captain, Mr. Brian Carroll of the middies there. Um, I want to go, actually, if you look up here, I like Zach McMath, but he's only a 63 overall in this game. I like him in real life. Down here. Okay, good. So they, no, they haven't. There he is. This guy, I don't even know who he is. I've never heard of him before. Oka Nikolov. <laughs> he's a 70 overall. There's no way he's not going to start in net for the Philadelphia Union. So right off the bat, I'm going to move him up to the top. Uh, we the, Our reserves are much better than over here, and I love Cleberson. <laughs> He's definitely going to start. His stamina is the worst part about him, using him in a match. I usually bring him on as um, a second-half sub, so I'm probably going to keep him in that role. But just for the sake of getting through a single friendly in this video, uh, I'm going to suggest who we should have. I'm letting the computer suggest it the first time around. And it has, and it's keeping McMath in net. It's keeping all this, actually. Did it put... Okay, so it moved Nikolov and Kleberson to the sub roll, which is good for the friendlies. We'll get to use them in the preseason. And then the reserves down here are our lower-ranked guys, and especially with Jeff Park still hurt, that puts him down there, which is a good thing. So with the squad set, um, the formation I'm just going to keep as it is, 4 1 3 2, for now... We, we just have to see how everybody plays. Actually, wait, why is there a mid? Why did they put... I guess because he's a defensive midfielder? All right, we're going to go with it. They put Brian Carroll back on our defensive line. That's fine. I'll, I'll take it as long as he is indeed defensive mind. I can, I can live with that. Um, but... Yeah, yeah, all right. Let's let's go with this lineup. Um, we're going to keep the 4-1-3-2 until we see how it plays out in game action. We'll see what the team is actually good at. But we're set. Now, for playing games, I'm not going to play every one of the season. I'm probably, for the purposes of this series, since I'm only going to be doing about one video a week off the bat, probably going to do one of one game every, like, two weeks or something and simulate the rest and show you the news. So for today, all we need to know is that we are going to be playing one friendly uh, right now, we are going to advance the calendar along, and it's just going to move. Our scouts are en route to their destinations. We've got some guys coming up for transfer, which is great. Don't have all the money in the world right now, though. So there we go. We've got up to our, our first um, friendly match. We're at home against Bronby, February, 20, February 18, 2013. I do want to go check my email real quick, guys. All kinds of scouting updates, right? Yep. Uh, and there's my agent, Benoit Declair. <laughs> He's talking about international management. I'm not worried about that. So we've got our first scouting reports in, and we have actually got a player conversation. Leo Fernandez 
central midi from Brazil. He uh, was hoping I might be rotating the squad and giving him a chance to play. We're going to hold on to that one. Remember that. We don't want anyone to be happy. I mean, <laughs> we want everyone to be happy. We don't want anyone to be mad. So there we go. Get out of there. Uh, I want to take a look at the scouting crud real quick. There we go. Check out all the new ones. All right. So I believe Okugo is the one that we sent down to Mexico. Yeah. Um, Peter McGlynn, right back. I don't really like his potential stats at all. There's not even a little bit of green in there. Um, I'm going to ignore that one for now. And we have Abraham Riestra. Well, there's an 18 year old left back from Mexico. Arlibetzil Hernandez. Um, yeah, we're going to continue to scout him. Yep. Yeah, let's scout him. Let's get some further info there. Uh, now, since McGlynn is open for transfer, he's playing for the Earthquakes right now. Um, we have a little bit of info on him, but I just I don't like even those perspective numbers. Josh Williams, 24-year-old right back. He's playing for the Columbus Crew. Um, Toro Ledesma, Hernandez, Bernardo. There's another defender. Oh, he plays for the Monterey. That was one of my buddy's favorite squads. Let's scout him. Let's try to steal him away. He's young. His form, he's okay. Okay. Let's see if we have any early jumps on anybody. No, it looks like this is all we have so far. Um... Well, you know what? Let, let's let's scout a little bit more on Pete McGlynn. Let's see if he's worth bringing in, especially with someone hurt right now on our reserves. Even though I don't like his numbers at all. And then, where's that 22-year-old? Dennis Iapicino. He's playing for DC United. He's also hurt right now. I'd rather stay away from him. So right now, all we have are defenders. That's fine, though. That's fine. Yeah, let's just scout the ones we have for now. Um, that'll come up over the next few days. And let me actually see what the calendar says we have. I know we've got this friendly, that friendly, and then we're going to finish off with a friendly there at home. Let's play the one that we're going to finish up at home with. Yeah, I'm going to simulate these first two friendlies, and then we'll finish up at PPL Park. So let's go back to Central. All right, so we just got a few more scouting updates taken care of. And we're just going to go ahead and simulate through this first match against Brondby. We've got our starters and everyone set. And, yep, let's go get the simulation in here. There's players all warmed up, ladies and gentlemen. I don't expect big things out of the Union here. Except there's Sebastian Letu with a 19th minute goal. All right. I feel like this season is going to be tough. Um... But the, the key is that within three seasons, I would really like to have a team build up if they still keep me around here. It looks like James Casey went off and he's hurt. McInerney out, Wheeler in. And it should, looks like 1-0, 1-0. Oh, they tied it up right at the end there, those bastards. Colin Bird. All right, well, we get a 1-1 draw on our first friendly. Looks like they were okay. Uh, I want to check that injury to James Casey real quick before we move too far ahead. Oh, I'm James. I keep saying James because he's on the national team. Connor Casey, broken tibia, out for about five months. Oh, man, it's a good thing we're scouting who we are. We got to go to team management. So Connor Casey is not going to be in form for five months now. Oh, God, he was our other striker. Oh, all right, well, it's, that's fine anyway because we can just put Jack Matt and we can put uh, Sebastian Latou back on. Where is he? I see reserve. Oh, wait, they, they had Latou as a mid? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Latou is going to be a striker. And we'll bring Casey off for another mid. I still want Cleberson to be a sub. Because he just has nothing. No stamina. 64 from Farfan. Yeah, let's go Michael Farfan. 
bring him on, and then Casey's going to go reserve. <clears throat> and we'll call up another mid. Uh, looks like we want to do Lahoud. Yeah. Yeah, I like that call. All right, so there we go. That That's a little better. I definitely want Latou to strike. He's got a good boot. Uh, my computer has gone asleep again. This is a longer video than I anticipated. Um, all right, cool. So we get out of there. We've got more scouting in motion. We're going to go back to the main screen. We'll simulate through that next friendly. Okay, let's simulate that match. Yeah, we have news on the transfer network. I'm not worried about Boca Juniors. Simulate. Go. Let's try to get a win here in a friendly. Ugh. Right off the bat, 12 in. Alright, at least we got 2-1 to one there. That's why I put Latou as a striker. Let's even it up, let's even it up, come on. Nope, 2-1, to alright, we go down 2-1. to one. A draw and a loss in two friendlies so far. And that's going to bring us up to the next one. Uh, I'm just going to come right back after I go through some, some scouting stuff. Alright, and we are back, guys. Um, I just sent one of my scouts to inquire about Luis Silva. Uh, I believe he's one of the guys down in Mexico. Uh, might be one of the ones playing for the MLS already. I don't remember. But he's a central attacking mid that looks like he has pretty okay statistics. And considering that inner, that <clears throat> man, my throat, that injury to uh, Connor Casey to start the year and the fact that we're still sitting a mid from a uh, broken tailbone, I'm going to bring him in as fast as we can. So we're, we're inquiring about his price tag right now if the part with him. But either way, it's time to get into our first friendly here. We are, oops, wrong screen. Yep. Let's get up to it. Emails. Uh, oh, there, yeah, he's playing for DC United. Thank you for your inquiry. He has recently joined us at DC United, so we're not interested in discussing his availability at this time. Fair enough. We're going to have to look for another option. Um, Okugo has an update from Mexico. He's got five more. All right, well, let's, let's just jump on all the young defenders. Uh, okay, can't scout anybody else yet anyway. So we're going to have to wait about a month while he's still scouting down in Mexico. That is fine. For the time being, we're going to play this friendly. Let's just get up to it. Great. Yes. Yes, play the match. Home versus Wolfsburg. Let's get it set. Philly's got the home. Wolfsburg. Oh. Take that. Yeah, let's let them wear their home as well. And... Let's go right. Yep, Cleverson is a sub. We'll bring him in after halftime. Ball's going well. All right, and frankly, no, I want to... I want to let Nikolov start in goal. He's a 70 overall. I want to let him do it in a friendly. Let's see if it works out. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. All right. Welcome to EA Sports. And here we friendly. go. Of course, the lights are beaming down this evening. So without further ado, we're heading for Philadelphia. Your commentary team is Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. I'm not all that good at this game to this point, but you're, you're going to see that right off the bat. <laughs> Taking on Wolfsburg in a friendly. Thank you for putting up with this first episode so far, by the way. I'm going to have to work a lot on the commentary for this. I'm used to commentating wrestling, which is easy, you know, you know what to speak. In this one, I'm going to have to, to, to tweak it a little bit, and that's what you always do when you start a new series up. So I appreciate you guys just sitting back and understanding that. Um, I'm just excited to finally get this under the way here. Under, under the way, underway. <laughs> Been looking forward to this series for a little while. We are going to make the Philadelphia Union relevant in the world. All right, Union, going to start off with the ball here. And McInerney has it. Let's get it down the far fan. They are uh, pressing pretty strong off the bat. All right. Let's 
good to know. Let's get it in to Farfan. <clears throat> All right, run, 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 run with it. Get across. Oh, right two to goal. All right, that's good, that's good. Pressure off the bat, pressure off the bat. It's a nice play. Good, good, good. Keep control. All right, all right. Shane and Williams. Pass back to Carroll. Who should be a midi, Brian Carroll. Over to Akugo. Cruz. Oh, okay. That was definitely offside. Yeah, I mean, that's just something that happens during the course of a season, and uh, I think that'd be fine. And the referee blows his whistle. It's one of the, the, the rules in sports that took me forever to truly understand was offside in footy. <laughs> it makes no sense to an American. None whatsoever. Oh, crap. Who's that? Well to set his team on the front foot by yes. Good. And pass back. Get out of heat. Get out of heat. Get out of heat. Oh, no. Not the forward. Not the other uh, through ball I was looking for there. Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. Definitely not what I was looking for there. I had a man on a run. Not what I wanted to do with that ball. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. Uh, defense is very hard in this game, I'm noticing. And there's a goal right off the bat as soon as I start complaining about defense in this game. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his last name. Topkagic. Topkagic. Oh, God. Beautiful header. Right past the goalie. Wolfsberger up 1-0 off the bat. And now Sebastian Latou handling in the center. Yes, yes. I need the press. I need the press on this one. Let's go. Let's get a good run here. <laughs> I'm bad at this game. But I swear with practice I'll get better. There, 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 there. You got men. What was that? Where was that ever going to go? That was an easy decision for the assistant. It's offside. He's gone too early. Oh, all right, all right. It was offside anyway, but still. Oh. This is going to be embarrassing. Yay! Good strike. Oh, get past, get past. No. <laughs> Try to go for the ugly slide tackle there. I'm very happy that did not turn out the way it should have. Hey, hey, come on, yes, play up. Yeah, I have the um the the non-ball control player switching set to manual. It's with the right stick on Xbox. Only because the the automatic player switching was terrible. It always switches behind the ball, like oh god, get it out. Just clear it. Just clear it. Good clear. So um, it, it's a little bit better, but now I've got to be mindful of where people are, and it still doesn't give me exactly who I want at any given time. Um, I just it, it's it's tough to to work around. Oh, there's a good run. There's a good run. And in goes the cross. Could be dangerous. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. <laughs> I'm wondering why their shots are awful. It's because I'm hitting X for everything. <laughs> Good. Get it up. All right, that was never going to work anyway. Too much pressure. Got to slow it down and set it up better. We are down 1-0, though, and the halves are going to move by very fast. We just get at least one goal on camera in this match. I would love it. All right, good, good. Just pass it back. Too much, too much attacking presence. These guys are all over the field. Let's get it up. Good. Run. Run. Good. Good. You're through. Good. Get it up. Get on. Oh. I think it's appropriate. Here's the shot. Oof da. That was almost ugly. Nikolov is okay in goal though. Just boot it out. Boot it out. Okay. Okay. That's what I want right there. 
Oh, no. He got around it. Yes, you go on a run. I will get it to you. Now keep the run going. Arrgh! Okay, okay. No. <laughs> Slide right into his ankles. Through ball. Through ball. Oh! Almost had it. I got to work more on the right stick. Uh, the, the juking and the jiving, the good footwork. All right, get in position, head it up. Good, good. I like that. All right, now you're all by yourself. Try not to screw up. I said try not to screw up! I said try not to screw up! Oh, God, get to it. Oh, man. You missed. It's okay. All right, give it to Carol. Let's reset. Got a minute left before the half. Let's get one frenzy here. Go, go, go. Everybody up. Everyone up. Good, good. Now keep the run going. All right. No! <laughs> I run so hard after the ball, I put everybody out of position, too. Come on, come on. Give me the guy near the ball. I can't I can't make any plays. <laughs> run with it. No! All right, let's just go to the half and be happy that it's only 1-0. Ah! Oh! All right, we got 1-0 at the half. That ugly header goal is the the difference so far. We got to come back and play strong in the second. We definitely had some chances. Um, that last one. Oh, man. Yeah, that, that off the two, right off the bat, that would have been beautiful. But there was just nothing on that ball. It was just a nice head there. And the header. Oh. That's the one I was pretty, pretty mad about. That one made me me jump my teeth a little bit. And then this from McInerney. Oh, man. Had him dead the rights. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. All right. We're coming back. Advance. Uh, is anyone super tired? Farfan is. Um, I'll bring Cleberson in at 55, 60, somewhere around there. I just his, his stamina is so low that I don't want to bring him in too early. Let's get right back into it, though. This time Wolfsberger is starting off with it. You got a man on a run. Go. Go. Oh, get up to it, you jerk. Good. Ah. 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 Oh, come on. Are you serious on that? Everyone just stands around and lets the guy run through you? Come on. That's not how you play. All right. Yeah, that was never going to work anyway. I wanted to set up a header there. It's a couple, you, you have to have a little urgency around the ball. You can't stand there and look at it and then let their guy come in, scoop it out, and clear. That's just that's not how you're going to get into this game. Uh, slide tackles also not going to get you in this game. There, good. And now run to the ball. Don't stand still, you moron. Okay, if he's going to let you go on a run, go on a run. No, that's just, yeah, that, that was never going to work. Trying to get to the outside for a cross and not there at all. Quickly to try and win the ball back. Yeah, yeah, get off me. The official has seen something he doesn't like. And is indeed a yellow card for you, Mr. Topgakic. You yeah. head scoring goal fiend. Yeah, yeah, eat the yellow card. Get him out of here. He's playing dirty. Oh, yeah, 55. You know, let's make our own sub while we're here. Yeah, our striker. Yeah, we got to bring in uh, Kleberson for Farfan. Uh, let's resume the match. Should have Cleverson coming in now. There we go. Beautiful. And being behind, you can understand that. And just push it. Nice bicycle kick. Play on. There we go. Good, good. Good. And the cross is in. It's 
That was off on his head, right? We get a corner? Yeah! Right, let's make something good of it. Nope, can't get ahead on that at all. No, don't switch players if I'm not switching players, you jerks. Got a man up. That was just dumb. We have no offense whatsoever. Okay, let's set something. Let's set something. That's not who I wanted to pass to at all. Why would you pass to him when you've got a guy streaking for a cross? Come on, FIFA. What is this? Will you get back? Like, you know, you automatically pick your player. Well, you have to pick the person that's somewhat near the ball. What happened? Okay. I don't know why, why play was stopped. I, I can't hear the commentary right now. Maybe they'll tell me later. Beyond this game. Sensible. He's a valuable player, isn't he, to this team? And they don't want him out for any longer than Guessing necessary. it was an injury. Well, there's some etiquette to be observed here at the drop ball. What the hell was that? Has gone off, and that I didn't push anything. Kick. What the hell was that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is there like a team stupidity meter or something? My God. Yes, go for a run. No, keep it in. Damn it. Now run around and cross! Good work by the defender, although in truth he wasn't really challenged by the ball that he had to deal with. Oof. So much congestion. Just kill him. Just friggin' kill him. Options available on the bench for the away side today. Oh, come on! Play on him! Jesus! He went in well. in with the, <laughs> at all. the one person you control is the person that moves, and everyone else just stands there waiting for something to happen. Where's the AI in this game? Come on! I complain a lot during sports games, guys. A fresh player on and cement their position as they look to hold on to this lead. All right, Nikolov. Get it out there. Give us a chance to score. We got 18 left. You guys have to attack the ball. You can't sit there and wait for it to roll to you, and you can't expect that I'm going to control everyone. Jesus. That's me clicking the stick to change players here. It's a good thing they were offside because we gave him a wide open path there. It's unbelievable. Let's go. Let's formulate an attack. Our defense cannot hold them much longer. They're going to continually break down. Okay, that was easy. Oh, off the head! Jack McInerney in the 78th minute. Unbelievable. Beautiful setup. I know how to do something in this game. Oh, that was beautiful. It hit off the crossbar too. Oh, no way to stop it. Across the goal, beautiful header, oh, I can't say enough, from an American footy fan. That ties it up in the 78th minute. The Union are back in this. I could stop complaining a little bit, and we could at least play for a draw at this point. Oh, man, very nice. We just got to hope the defense holds up. They've been playing piss poor in this game. Right, we need someone up top on a run is what we need. Ah, oh, bad, bad. Oh, get it up. Yes. And now cross again. Ah. Uh, ah, right, that fell apart. Everybody back. Everybody back. Run back. Come on. It can't just be the guy that I'm controlling doing the work. The whole team still has to play, EA. Come on. That's, that's totally not cool. They almost got us for a card there. Oh, Jesus. 
Get it out! Oh, what the hell is that defense? How does that happen? What do you, you, you like, oh, you just want to lose it? How does that happen? How does the rest of the team just stand around for all that? I can't control 11 players at the same time. Oh. All right, well, we obviously need defensive help with transfers as soon as it can possibly happen. And, I mean, oh, way to, like, just blow it there. We, we had the draw. At least we had the damn draw at that point. Just do something here. And, look, their defense is a brick wall. And that's going to be off. That's totally offside. My defense, I, I, I could not push a single button and they would not line up like that. Like, it has nothing to do with my influence on the game. They're just not playing well. <laughs> they are god-awful. We got under five minutes in this match. I, there's just no way. There's just absolutely no way. We got to run up right now. But everybody's waiting for me to give them the ball, but they're not moving to get the ball. It's insane how poorly they're all playing. I need you on a run. Yes. All right, now cross it up. And get a goddamn head on it. You got to put it where you can get to it. That was on me. That was a really bad cross. Good head. Nice. Get to it. All right, good. We still have it. Come on, we have a little bit of time. Get the equalizer. We got to get a draw here. We got to get a draw here. Go. On a run now. Get it. Who was that, McInerney? Oh, man, that was such a good chance. Oh! In the 90th minute. In the 90th minute. And there we go. That's the match. We lose it 2-1. to one. We had it drawn up, and then that defensive collapse in the 84th. Oh, my God. That was frustrating. Well, guys, we have a lot of work to do, whether it's me learning how to play the game better or it's me building the team a little bit better. This is uh, just not looking good in general. <laughs> it's going to be a long first year with the Philadelphia Union here in the MLS, but we're going to do what we can. We're going to try to meet our goals in the semifinals, and we're going to try to do some work on the transfer market. Thank you for watching this first take on the FIFA series here. And like I said, guys, if there's anything that you think I can do differently, let me know. Uh, I'm new to this style of commentary, but I've always wanted to get more sports games on my channel. That's going to be it here from Roush Games. If you like this video, leave a big old like on it. And if you're new here and you want to see more FIFA, WWE, whatever, random gameplay, subscribe, stick around. We're going to have a lot of fun. Um, I hope you choose to do that. i got to get on with my day. I hope you guys have a great one. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.